friends in East Street. And the one thing I do notice, uh, generally speaking, about uh, I've been out of the country for a few years and have just moved back to uh, Brooklyn about six months ago. And the one thing that I am concerned about is uh, there does seem to be an alcohol problem in the area. I, I see that most of the I mean, and it does seem to be very, it's, it's, a, it's a problem that needs, and it's not an easy problem because I, I, I've gone to the police station because I have two young daughters, and uh, men are urinating in that park that uh, was spoken about earlier. And, you know, I, I know it's very, it must be very frustrating to have to deal with that because you're dealing with people who are alcoholics. And I don't know what the solution is, but I, I, I do think that there is a, a serious alcohol problem near the parks. And, and I don't know why. Uh, open drunkenness is actually illegal, isn't it? Is it? It continues a criminal sauce. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't, but if no one has a home, and I, and, I, and I feel terrible because I think many of these people are homeless. But it's, um, anyways, in, in relation to, you, you had mentioned this person was drunk that had uh, accosted you. Yes, but he's been in and out of Bellevue. I know his history, I know his name. It's, he goes by the name of August. He's been in and out of Bellevue. He's wealthy, he's not homeless. He gets Section 8, he gets his food stamps. He gets well taken care of. He's just very abusive towards women. And there's many more like him in Williamsburg now. And it's frightening. I see how some of these young women are treated here. And I don't like it. And I think they should be arrested if they touch a woman. Well, uh, but my concern uh, is uh, also uh, just about the alcoholism, the open... I could say a lot more, but I can't. Open drunkenness that uh, I am concerned about as a parent in the neighborhood. And I uh, just wanted to express that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.